Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and we're back on the solar again. Now then, you will have seen the recent video I did on this. The tiny solar charge controller. Now it's not been uh, linked up to my solar panel for a while because I've been working so I've not been here while the sun's been out so I've not had it plugged in. And consequently, if we just switch on the uh, voltmeter You'll see there that it's dropped to 1.7 volts, which isn't healthy at all. So I thought, what can I do? And I came across this, which if you look back to one of my earlier videos, you'll have seen me do a review on this. This is a torch. As you can see, I switched it on, it's not working very well. But it's one of those generator torches. You can wind it up and it generates power for the torch. But not only that, it's got a DC output. And with it is a lead. And uh, I've just done a little test on this with the meter and turning the handle just at normal speed was giving me between 5 and 6 volts so I thought right that's about the same as the solar panel and if you remember in here I have a USB port mini USB port which you can use for charging the unit instead of using the solar you know what's coming don't you so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try plugging that into there. Unfortunately, I think that might be a bit too close to the lip of the uh, tin. But the uh, the lead will go in, but doesn't fully go in. So I don't know if it's going to be enough to make contact. So I'll connect that up and we'll give it a try and see if we can uh, charge the battery that way. Worth a try, I suppose. Right, OK, let's get connected up and we'll give it a go. Okay, we're now connected up, the lead's plugged in, I don't know whether it's making contact or not, we'll soon find out, and I've got the other end connected into the, uh, into the dynamo generator torch, whatever you want to call it. So keep your eye on that voltage, and let's see if anything happens. Here we go, the moment of truth. Right, that's showing 5 volts. Now I've stopped winding. And it's still showing 5 volts. Now you saw how much I wound that then. And that's still at 5 volts. That's amazing. Who'd have thought you could charge that battery with that so quickly? Now how long that's going to stay at 5 volts, I don't know. Now is that because that's connected? Let's unplug this. Okay. That's no longer connected. And we're getting 5 volts out of the unit from 1.7 volts. Hmm, interesting. Right, so now we know we're getting 5 volts out of there. Let's connect that up to a uh, USB device and see if, it, uh, see if it charges. Right, back in a minute. Right, okay. Don't need that. There's the charge solar charger. Got the USB lead plugged in. There's my phone. Moment of truth.
Well, it's brought it on, but it's not charging. So what happens if we then plug the... Because normally you would have the solar panel connected and then that would charge. But just from the battery, that's not charging. So let's plug that in there, like that. Listen for the beep of the uh, phone to say it's charging. Here we go. Well, you might not be able to hear me because of the dynamo. <laughs> Let's try it anyway. Right, what I can tell you is for a split second that did come up saying charging but it's not stayed on so not a completely successful test but that doesn't take away the fact that this unit is uh, has been charged up to 5 volts let's just check it again See if it's still at 5 volts. Ah, that's dropped down to 2 volts again. Hmm, interesting. Let's try it again. Ah, 5 volts. going on here. I was at 2 volts, when I plugged that in it went to 5 volts and then when I unplugged it, it stayed at 5 volts. I wonder if this, once you wind that dynamo, I wonder if it's still tech drawing voltage from the torch. Five volts. Back onto the phone. It's bringing it on, but it's not uh, charging. Try again. Oh, ah, it does bring, I think it's the lead that's moving, because the light on the, let's see if I can do it again so you can see it, let me prop that up, right, let's get it right, let's just so change the, the camera on. angle, right, the light's coming on, the phone's lit up, Not showing it's charging. Oh, yep, charging then. The light's still on the charger. The phone's not charging. It keeps momentarily coming on there. It came on then. It must not be a constant voltage, I don't know, I don't know the reason for that. But, some interesting results there. So a few things to uh, play around with there. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's given you a few uh, few ideas, a bit of food for thought. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.